Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my closet's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm a girl? A girl who has too much clothes. As she runs downstairs, uh, I, I I threw it that 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 way that. Pe Penny, hey guys, it's Jenna. What is up? And welcome back to my channel. Today, as you guys can see, we are doing a fun video. I am going to be showing you guys my closet, which, if you do not know, I did just recently move. And upstairs, I'm in a townhouse. There's three levels. The top level has my bedroom over there. My filming room, which I'm not filming in, I know, it's not it's not ready yet, but filming room and then in the middle, it's supposed to be like a den slash office area, but because my office is all the way down in the first floor, um, I decided to make this my closet and it's beautiful. My laundry is like right across the hall, which is amazing. And this is actually going to be the first video in my Jenna's home type of series. I have so many places in my house that I want to show you guys in more like depth videos and I didn't want to make a huge like one video home tour because I felt like that would take like literally a full feature film of Jenna's house. So I decided I'm going to split up everything and I'm going to start with this one and I have always wanted to do this. Since I was a little girl I've been obsessed, obsessed with Ikea wardrobes and the pack system so I decided once I moved into this house that I was going to kind of treat myself to something that I've always wanted and like I can't explain how thankful and blessed I am to be able to do this. I know you don't need it and I know I could have just used the space for something else and then used the two closets in the two rooms that I have for my clothes but I just felt like this was something that I've always wanted and it was just always in the back of my head and I just went for it and started. Obviously this right here, what you guys see is all I have right now but in the future once I move into a bigger space then I can, you know, add on. That's a really nice thing about the IKEA PAX wardrobe system. I will link it down below but basically I went through all of my clothes. I'm actually going to yap for a bit so if you don't want <laughs> Do listen to me yap. I have said this so many times on my videos. I talk a lot and I completely understand if you don't like that and you just came here for the tour. So if you do just want to see the tour, I will put down in the down box or description box when the actual tour starts. So go see that if you don't want to hear me yap. But basically starting with this whole PAX wardrobe IKEA thing, um, I went through all of my clothes, everything, and put down all of the categories. So I put down obviously pants, shorts, hanging shirts, um, underwear, socks, uh, dance clothes, just all that. If you do not know, I'm a dancer as well. But I put down all the different categories I wanted in different sections. And then beside that, I actually looked up the PAX wardrobe system and what you could get. Like there's different things you can add in to these like main boxes. So I went through and I wrote down what kind of like organization tool I wanted for that certain type of section of my clothing. So let's say obviously hanging clothes, I looked up like hanging rods. Um, for pants, I looked up like these cool hanging things. Um, underwear and stuff that I didn't want people to see. I got like solid drawers, you could get glass drawers pull out things. It's just so many things to choose from. So I went through everything and kind of designated a certain type of organization tool for that certain type of clothing. So after I knew all of the organization tools I wanted, I went onto the IKEA website, which is the coolest thing. They actually have a PAX wardrobe system planner that you can go on, put in the dimensions of your room, and then you pick out like the main compartments of the closet and then you pick out all of the internal things that you want you put it all together and then it shows you a list of all the things that you need to buy so i went with my parents i believe you guys saw it in a vlog and we bought everything it was so much but everything like individually is very inexpensive like a drawer like this i believe was maybe 
$15 and then just everything comes together and I believe this section behind me that I purchased ended up being a little bit less than a thousand dollars which was amazing and if you ever like look at custom closet like companies they can get so expensive so this is definitely a more inexpensive option which I definitely recommend but anyways we're going to get right in to this video. I hope you guys enjoy. It's not the biggest closet, but it is enough to hold all of my clothing and I still have room to grow. And then obviously, like I said, if I ever move out of this apartment and into something else and I have a bigger space to put a closet, then I can, you know, buy another part and like add it on. So really, really excited for the future and how this will grow with me. And it's just so exciting. And I just want to give a quick thank you to everyone that has ever supported me in anything. I would not have this if it wasn't for you guys for supporting me with my YouTube, my Etsy shop, just everything that I do. Thank you so, so much. I am eternally grateful for every single one of you and yeah. Anyways, we're going to get right into this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see my closet tour, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so I quickly just wanted to show you an overview of the closet before I get into all of the details. But this is what I see when I come up the stairs to my third floor. To the left of the closet is my bedroom and then to the right you guys can't see but that is down a little bit of a hall and you have my filming room as well as right across from the closet is my laundry. So this is what I see when I come upstairs. Um, like I mentioned, all of the white Pax wardrobe system is from Ikea. I will link them down below. The mirror is actually just from Walmart. It was a pretty inexpensive mirror and I'm considering maybe getting a bigger one because I feel like it looks a little bit funny on that wall. But for now, it is perfectly fine. It's just a leaning up against mirror for looking at my outfits and all of that as well as the middle little ottoman. It actually spins, which is really fun. It's black leather. It just looks really good. I am a big fan of just black and white. So I actually just re recently purchased that from HomeSense, which is home goods in America, if you did not know. So yeah, that is everything for the overview. We're going to get into all of the details and what I store, how I store it, and we're kind of gonna go um, by each like compartment if you know what I mean. So let's get into it. Okay, so starting with this first medium compartment, at the top there is a shelf that I keep all of my strappy heels. You guys can't see that, but I will include a shot here of all of those. I only have four pairs of strappy heels. I don't wear heels very often, but that is where I keep all of them. I do really like to store my heels one backwards and one frontwards. I feel like that's a really good way to store shoes. I feel like a lot of people do that, but basically you guys can see like the back of the heel and then the front of the heel so you can just like, you can see it, you know? Anyways, um, I also have all of my neutral hanging clothes. I don't organize my clothing by the style of shirt. I mainly do it by the color. I used to do it by style, but then I felt like whenever I was choosing outfits, I would be looking for a certain color. So I decided to move into more of a color kind of organization. So I have all of my blacks, grays, and uh, whites here. I do have a lot of beiges, but I did include that in the colored side. Um, and then I do have three longer sweaters here. I included this kind of half compartment here so that I could have a lot of space or a little bit of space, not a lot of space, a little bit of space for my longer pieces. I don't have any uh, maxi dresses or maxi skirts right now. But that is something that I am going to invest in soon because I feel like a good maxi dress is something you need to have. So I'm going to do that. But anyways, I have just some longer sweaters here that I put there as well as I do have this really cool thing that actually comes out. It's really hard to get out because some of my clothes are blocking it. But basically, it's this little rod here that has hooks where you can hang your belt. So that's where I have all of my belts. If these were not in the way, I could pull it out and choose what belt I wanted, but it's just a little bit too difficult right now, so I'm not gonna do it. But anyways, that is the first compartment here. I also have my hats on top here. I have six different hats. Three of them are black, which, yeah. Who needs three black baseball hats? Clearly me. But anyways, those are all of those. And then I do have this here, which can pull out. And I have all of my jeans. There's three pairs on each, which is crazy. I have all my blacks, dark jeans, medium, a little bit lighter and then lighter. This, 
really makes the perfectionist in me extremely, extremely happy. So I keep that as organized as possible and it just really makes me happy. So I have all of my jeans there. So yeah, I would definitely say that the jeans organization is one of my favorite parts of this closet. I just love how it looks. I look at it every time I come upstairs and just, again, like I said, the perfectionist in me just is really happy with this. So anyways, that is the first medium compartment here. We're going to move over to the smaller one now. Okay, so moving into this middle section here, this is the smallest compartment you can get. But starting at the top, I do have two individual shelves. I figured I could use this for more display things as well as purses that I don't use. So up top, I don't have any purses, but that is my box for my first Louis. And then on the second shelf here, I have a Marc Jacobs bag, which I don't use as often anymore. It's a little bit more like fancy, which I'm not so into anymore. Um, and then I do have another Louis Vuitton box here that was for my um, wallet. It's a pretty big wallet. And then right here, this I actually originally had as another pant organizer, but stupid me didn't realize that you can't really fold shorts the same way as you do pants, so they didn't really sit as nicely on the hanger. So I did switch it out. I actually saved that for possibly in the future if I do get another compartment for me to put another one of those jean compartments in. But I did purchase this, which is a new to me, Pax wardrobe system interior thing, but it's basically just a rod that comes out from the back and it kind of looks like a store, which really makes me happy and it's just, it's so much fun. But yeah, this is for all of my shorts. I have my jean shorts in the front and then towards the back, I do have more fabric shorts as well. And it's, I do admit it's a little bit hard to get to things um, just because it's, it's small and you can't get to the back, but whatever. It looks cute. And then right underneath these shorts, I do have a glass shelf here. This is where I keep all of my fragrances. You guys probably can't see right now, but I will include individual shots. But I do have a circular tray with all of my full-size fragrances. And then I do have this little tray here that has a really cute, like, fake gold perfume bottle. This is from HomeSense. I got it quite a while ago, so I don't know if it's still available or not but I keep all of my sample size perfumes, which I think is a really good idea to keep those and keep them for like traveling and just keeping in your purse and that sort of thing. So that's what I do with those. And I do have a little white um, little tray here for my rings as well. Not a huge ring fan, so I don't use those very often. But speaking of rings and jewelry, um, in the next little pullout tray here, I keep all of my jewelry. Again, I'm not a huge, jewelry fanatic, but I do like my chokers and my dainty necklaces, a few watches, some bangles, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I got this tray as well from Ikea. They have different sizes and different like compartment sizes and whatnot. And then moving into the drawers, I do have four drawers on each of these or in each of these compartments. The top two are glass for like things I want to be shown and then the bottom two are solid for things I do not want to be shown. So the first drawer here is my bathing suits. I have a ton of bathing suits and unfortunately I've only been able to use them maybe twice this summer so I'm hoping to be able to get to the beach maybe once more this summer and maybe to a pool. Um, the gym that I just recently um, became a member of does have a pool so I think I might start going there and doing some swimming for obviously fun purposes, but as well as fitness and stuff like that. So anyways, I have a ton of bathing suits. They're all fun and colorful. A lot of them are from Cupshe, Shein. Um, I have a few from like Walmart, Arden, just a bunch of different places. So that is nice and colorful and fun. So I did want to show those. In the second drawer here, I actually have my bras and bralettes. As you guys can see, I don't have a ton of bras, and I'm gonna be completely honest, I don't think I've worn an actual good supportive bra in like a good year, because I'm just so obsessed with just simple bralettes. I don't have boobs whatsoever, so it's not like I need the support. But yeah, I do keep all of my normal beige bras and just normal bras at the front for display purposes. And then I do have a bin at the back, which I keep all of my bralettes. And then just to the side here, I do have some sticky bras. So I have this one from Silly Bee Intimates. This one's probably the best that I've gotten. 
and I just keep it in this bag here, which you could actually use this as like a wet bathing suit bag if you wanted. And then underneath I do have two of the like really popular sticky bras with like the pole thing in the center, which I enjoy, but the stickiness has worn off, which kind of sucks. And then the first kind of solid drawer is where I keep all of my underwear. So I have thongs, underwear, I have some straps and stuff, cups, and then I do keep some dresses down here that I can't um, hang up, which actually I could hang up over there, so I think I might do that. But yeah, that is that drawer. And then the bottom drawer literally is just socks. So many socks. And honestly, I don't wear socks that often. More often in the winter than in the summer, but yeah. So yeah, that is the little middle section there, and then we are going to move on to this section here. Okay, and then moving into the last section of my closet, this again is another medium sized section. There is a shelf up there again that you guys can't see, but I will include a different shot. That is where I keep all of my high heeled booties. And I do have a second hanging section. I've tried to say that like three times now. Second hanging section. This is where I keep all of my colored clothing. You guys will be able to tell I'm not a huge fan of super bright colors. I have a lot of like burgundies. Um, some blues, some olive greens, yellows, like a mustard yellow. I really like the like fall colors. I'm not a huge fan of like bright pinks and stuff. And I do have a little bit of beige over here, which originally was with my neutrals, but I ran out of room because I have too much black, gray, and white in my life. So anyways, that is where I keep all of those. Again, they're not organized in like sleeve length or style or anything like that, just color. And then the first little thing here, again, I do have a glass um, shelf here. I don't keep anything on top, but that's just because I like to see what is in this drawer. And you guys, I have a little bit of a problem. I love sunglasses. And let me just tell you, there's so much room on this pullout tray for so many more pairs of sunglasses. And I'm just so excited. I do have two other pairs downstairs. They're my um, key or key, quay, quay? Australia? Key, key Australia sunglasses. Those are both downstairs, but basically this is where I keep all my sunglasses. I do have one of the little like sticky mat things underneath so that they don't move around, but that is all of them there. I don't have like a huge collection, but I'm working on growing it because I just think sunglasses are like the funnest thing ever. So those are all my sunglasses. And then moving into my drawers down here, again, I do have two glass ones and then two solid ones. The first glass one, it's not that amusing. Literally, it's just a drawer full of leggings. And to be specific, a lot of them are black leggings, which I literally live in. So I have all of my more like fabric-y type leggings here. I do have a few different colors um, down below, but nothing crazy. And then I have all my capri'd leggings or like cutoff leggings here. And then I have all of like my dance, more spandexy type leggings here. And I do have a gray pair and a burgundy pair, but like four different black pairs. Who needs four different types of black leggings? Me, obviously. But anyways, um, I do have some jeans back here that I couldn't fit over here with my other jeans, but these are actually colored jeans. So we have like a pair of gray ones, white ones, beige ones, and then burgundy. And I don't wear those as often, but I do like to have them there. And then again, I just have like some fabric -y leggings at the back as well. So those are my leggings. And yes, I have a full drawer of leggings. Okay, and then moving on to the second glass drawer here. This is where I keep all of my sweatpants and sweat shorts. And when I say sweat shorts, I mean like fabric-y PJ shorts, I guess. I guess this is where I keep all of my PJ pants because I don't really wear sweats out of the house very often. So this is mainly what I wear when I'm just chilling around the house. So I have a bunch of different sweatpants. I do have like some plaid PJs, your typical. Um, and yeah, so I have those and then the shorts at the back. And that is pretty much it, not that exciting. And then the third drawer here is where I keep all of my PJ shirts as well as just like tank tops and stuff that I didn't want to hang up. So I have some tank tops that I wear to dance as well as this type of tank top where like they're like cropped and I don't really wear them very often. 
like this. I know this is like pretty, like it's a fancy shirt that like should be hung up, but I feel like I don't wear it often enough to have it like out for me to see, if you know what I mean. So I just keep these kind of folded nicely in this little box here. I do have like Brandy Melville kind of shirt. These are shirts that like I either don't want to hang up because I don't wear them very often or I don't want to hang them up because they're not pretty. Do you guys understand what I mean? Okay. So yeah, that is that drawer. Again, I have like tank tops, t-shirts that I wear to bed and that sort of thing. And that is that drawer. And then the last drawer at the bottom is going to kind of be hard to show you guys just because I am in a dress and I like <laughs> not the best choice of clothing for this video. But basically this is my dance wear drawer, I guess. You have all of my crop tops in this little bin. You have all of my shorts in that bin, some tights over there, some tights here, as well as all of my ballet bodysuits at the back. So that is everything. If you guys do want to see like a dance wear collection, because I do know a lot of subscribers have recently come from like my dance costume videos. So I know that there are some dancers on here watching. So if you do want to see a more in-depth dance wear collection, I will do that. Okay guys, so that is everything for my closet tour. I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry if the way I filmed it wasn't the best. This is a really, really small space. It was really hard to set up the camera and make sure you guys were seeing everything. But I hope you enjoyed nonetheless. Give this video a big thumbs up if you did. Also comment down below what your favorite part was and if you wanna see anything else more in depth, like my, like I said, my dance wear collection or my shirts. I don't know. Anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you have not already. And if you are subscribed, definitely hit the notification bell so that you guys are notified whenever I upload a video. I know I've been recently uploading on Saturdays for some reason, but normally these types of videos are on Fridays. So get excited for those as well as vlogs go up on Tuesdays. So yeah. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I've got jeans and bathing suits of plenty. I got shorts and underwear galore. You want neutral shirts? I have way too much. But who cares? No big deal. I want more. Should we go shopping? I think so. I had all and then most of you summoned down none of you.